Good morning. Good morning, Springfield. Please accept, accept a warm welcome to Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport on behalf of the Springfield Board of Commissioners, our Chairman Frank J. Valla, Vice Chair Diane Barguti Hardwick, Commissioner Susan Shea, Commissioner Elizabeth Delheimer, Commissioner Mike Houston, and Board Officers Beverly Peters, Secretary Mark Kinneman, our Treasurer, and the entire airport staff, and and the Springfield Sangamon Growth Alliance's Board of Directors and membership, led by their Executive Committee, uh, chaired by Mr. Ed Curtis, Vice Chair Marita Zaratis, Treasurer Sarah Phelan, Secretary Charlotte Warren, Mike Alio, Immediate Past Chair and Nominating Committee, Chair Satch Pecori, and their staff, led by President and CEO Ryan McCready, my name is Mark Hanna. I'm your Executive Director of the Springfield Airport Authority today. I will be with you throughout the program. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for carving out time to be here on a Tuesday morning to share with us uh, this very exciting news for our community. We'd also like to rec uh, recognize uh, Mayor Misty Busher, Alderman Jim Donnellan, Alderman Jim Donnellan, our Ward 9. Ward 9, uh, he's the uh, airport's Alderman, so we appreciate all his support and of course all the support from City Hall. Um, also, I do want to recognize our federal, federal delegation. Um, Kaylee Golson is here on behalf of Senator Durbin. Uh, we certainly appreciate the Senator's support throughout the years uh, with all that we have done here at the airport. And also with Tammy Duckworth, um, uh, Randy Sikowski also sends his well wishes. And the Senator, we appreciate all of their efforts um, in helping the airport with the development projects and the programs we have going. And I was just on the phone with uh, John Lee of uh, uh, U.S. Representative uh, Nikki Wazinski's office last night, and he sends his well wishes from Washington as well. So we, we want to make sure that they understand how important it is the relationship that we have with, those, uh, with our delegation in Washington as things like today could not be possible without the infrastructure uh, and the facilities here at Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport. Friends, citizens, and community leaders, it is no secret that the aviation community has been rocked with many challenges in recent years. No different than the rest of, of, of the industry and, and the economy in different sectors. We've all have had situations that we've had to endure. Locally, we've experienced many ups and downs in the area of commercial air service, specifically here in Springfield, and all across the country in large and small communities alike. It doesn't mean we stop working. It doesn't mean we stop looking for other ways to improve our situation. We, as we undertake what we call ASD, our air service development efforts, we leave no stone unturned as we are constantly out selling and promoting Springfield and, and the community in our region to different air carriers and service providers. Big data regional population base, geographic location, strength of local economies, local organic demand to certain destinations, and pressures from investors and, and stockholders all play a part in the air, air service development efforts. However, the one thing that really makes a project work are the relationships. Um, the, your airport staff has had relationships um, with airlines that do not serve our community. And we have had those relationships for years. Um, doesn't mean we stop talking to them if they don't come to Springfield. We maintain that relationship. And over the years, they understand that we can deliver uh, with what we say we're gonna do because time in and time out, we continue to pitch our ground handling services, our local incentives, uh, in addition to the other matrix and, and the other data that, uh, that we present them to bring service to the community. If it wasn't for those relationships, days like today would probably not happen because there's a certain amount of trust. Aviation is a small community, and people understand when you can deliver on your promises and uh, to make a project happen. When all the other things align and the timing is right, having great collaborative relationships will make the project happen and they will even make it happen 
and allow us to endure this do to endure the storms and the difficult times that that may come about during during a project um, so those are the types of things that really help us succeed in the long run the airport has had great work and relationships with this new air service uh, provider and we look uh, toward the future and uh, that uh, that's it's going to endure and we're going to be able to build upon this however relationships at the local level right here in springfield uh, and our friends and partner at the ssga the springfield sangman Gro growth alliance um, that's really how this came about this is how economic development works it's private public and the, and the community all coming together and banding together to, to make good on a project. And everyone has their role in, in making a project such as, as, as this work. So um, it cannot be said enough that this, in my world, in the airport, this is a textbook economic development project. And without our friends and the leadership and the community and the membership at the Springfield Sangamon Growth Alliance, today would not happen. So with that, I want to introduce today Breeze Airways. Breeze Airways will be serving Springfield to two destinations starting in December, to Tampa International Airport and Orlando International Airport. And uh, with us here today is Ryan Williams with Breeze Airlines, and he has more details about the service. Um, Breeze Airlines, excuse me, Breeze Airways is a brand new company coming out of, out of COVID. And we are so delighted and so thrilled to actually be Breeze's first dot on the map in Illinois. So with that, I want to introduce to you in the city of Springfield, Ryan Williams from Breeze Airways. Oh, thank you everyone. This is a, an amazing welcome here in Springfield and we couldn't be more excited to be here to share this announcement with you. Um, again, thanks Mark and thank you everyone, all the stakeholders that, that shared a part in this announcement. Um, whether it be the city of Springfield, the Springfield Sagamon um, Economic uh, Growth Alliance, uh, we have these brand new routes coming here to Springfield both to Tampa and Orlando International Airports with twice weekly service. Um, we, are, we consider ourselves a nice low cost carrier, right? We wanna bring niceness and ease and convenience, affordability back uh, or, or into the aviation realm. Uh, and that starts with cities like this in Springfield. When you talk about affordability, we bring in lower fares. We're, we're starting with a $49 promo fare today to both those destinations. Uh, so you uh, might want to take advantage of that on our website when you're booking today. Uh, but with that comes flexibility. Uh, we offer no change or cancellation fees up to 15 minutes before departure time, uh, which is great. So if something happens, if you have some sort of emergency or you can't make that trip that day, no need to stress. Uh, you know, that, that is something you could take advantage of. And then convenience, right? When you, when you look at a, a, uh, an airport like Springfield here, Free parking is such an added convenience. Lower TSA lines, such an added convenience. You're from your car to the gate in maybe five to 10 minutes, right? That, that added convenience for our guests is huge. And that's really where we see our service taking off is, you know, instead of having to drive an hour and a half south or driving three hours north, uh, you have great service right here in Springfield. Um, both these new routes will be served on our brand new Airbus A220 aircraft, which are, <coughs> excuse me, operating with lower noise levels. Uh, they have great wide seats with amazing legroom and lar large overhead bin storage. Uh, beautifully large windows, so if you have a chance to fly on it, make sure you sit in a window seat. You'll catch some great views as you're flying out of the city. Uh, and they're extremely fuel efficient, which is great for us as well. We offer our guests both bundled and a la carte options when it comes to pricing. That includes nice, nicer, and nicest. Uh, we, are, we do want to be the, nice, the seriously nice airline, so uh, that's where that comes into play. But uh, be sure to take a look at all those options as you're, as you're looking for a flight. Uh, and with that nicest bundle, we also offer kind of a traditional first class option. 
which is, uh, we call it our Breeze Ascent seats. Um, that includes a traditional recliner style seat and uh, all you can eat snacks and beverages including alcohol, which is a great perk. Um, as other carriers are beginning to pull out of these secondary markets, we look at these markets as amazing opportunities. Uh, and I can see it by all the smiles on your faces how excited uh, you guys are just to have this new service. So we're excited to be here. We can't wait to jump in starting in December. It's going to come quicker than you know. And we look forward to seeing you all here at the airport on that day as we start service uh, to Orlando and Tampa. Once again, thank you to all the community stakeholders. Thank you to Mark and everyone here at the airport. Uh, we're so excited to bring this new service here to Springfield. In, uh, in my conversations with Ryan uh, over this past week, uh, come to find out he has deep roots here in Springfield. Uh, he's a um, uh, second, third generation immigrant in from Czechoslovakia, I think. So, and he's been to Illinois and Missouri. In uh, Illinois and Missouri is where they settled. So he's been back to Springfield before for uh, um, family reunions and such. So welcome back, welcome back, and thank you so much for your commitment to Springfield. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce to you uh, uh, Mr. Ed Curtis, Chair of the Executive Committee and the Board of the Springfield Sangman Growth Alliance. Ed. Thank you, Mark. Good morning, everyone. Uh, exciting day in our community and the Springfield Sangman Growth Alliance and our board and community leaders are so excited to be part of this important project. And I love what Mark said. It's about partnerships. It's about collaboration. It's about working together. And we're so excited to work with the Airport Authority, your board, and the leadership of Mr. Frank Valla, Mark, and his team. Um, this is an exciting day for our community. Um, Springfield Sangamon Growth Alliance wants to help expand, you know, commerce in our community. And this is one great example. I mean, having good air travel and access is so important to a vibrant community. And, uh, we can't thank you enough, Mr. Williams, for uh, helping us bring Breeze Airway to the community. I love your seriously nice tagline. And Mr. Williams assured me that he has plenty of leg room, whichever one of these three categories <laughs> that he sits in. So uh, I'm really looking forward to these uh, flights starting early December, and we're going to have a great time. So I want to thank everybody for being here. I want to um, thank everybody that participated in this partnership. This is really good for our community. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Um, next, I'd like to introduce uh, to the group and uh, welcome Mayor Misty Busher, uh, Mayor of Springfield. Good morning, everyone. I just want to say what an exciting day this is for Springfield. This is amazing. We needed continued new air service in our community, and I'm so excited that Ryan Williams is here to bring that gift to us. And I've already started talking to him about how I'm going to help sell these air flights so we can get more air flights from Breeze Airways into the Springfield Airport, which is great for our workers here at Capitol Airport. Thank you for all you do. I want to thank Chairman Hanna for all he does. He has been a champion for this airport, and I thank you for years. Uh, Chairman Valla and the Airport Authority Board that is here, thank you for all you do and specifically Ryan McCready. You are a great partner to all of us in the community at the Springfield Sangamon Growth Alliance, and I couldn't be more proud to be on your board and work with you. My grandchildren are arriving home today from Disney World. They are part of the Disney Vacation Club. Their parents are, they aren't, they're four and two. And uh, they drive right now from Springfield to Disney World. So now think about all these families in our community that are part of the Disney Vacation Club that can come right out here to Capitol Airport, park their car, walk right in, get on the Breeze Airway plane and the Airbus, right? It's an Airbus, and arrive at Orlando International Airport directly from Springfield. So they call me Momo Misty Mayor is what they call me now. Momo Misty Mayor. So Momo Misty Mayor is gonna make sure that we get them on one of those Orlando flights very soon with their vacation club. 
So I just want to say thank you to all the partners here. Mike Murphy from the Chamber of Commerce is here, and they're a great partner as well, getting things done in Springfield. So thank you, Mike Murphy. Uh, Chairman, I want to say uh, Alderman Jim Donlin is here with me today. He is your alderman here at the airport. He represents this area. He's super excited about this as well. So at the city of Springfield, we have a lot of great things going on. And Ryan, you're a big part of that. So thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you so much. We understand that there's more than air service, however, in Springfield, but we know that air service is a critical point for economic development, for quality of life, and to help all of the rest of you with what you have to do day in and day out with your business and conducting commerce and recruiting and growing the economy. So we just want to let you know that we are working as hard as we can in a very difficult environment to look for more opportunities such as this. So we thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your interest today. Again, your commitment to the, to the community and all that you do day in and day out and for your interest in being here today because this is an absolute incredible opportunity for our community. And also, thought I saw Scott Dahl here, obviously for tourism as well. So I'd love to see uh, those uh, flights full uh, coming out of Florida back in up into Springfield too. So Ryan, it is Ryan, Ryan Sandberg for you Cub fans. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, to, uh, to you and the team at Breeze. And we know that they have a wonderful team behind them and they have a great leadership uh, executive team as well too. So we're so thrilled to have them here in Springfield. So, so with that, I would like to conclude today's program and uh, any of us so would be available for any one-on-one -on -one, uh, visits or conversations with any media that would choose to do so. so Thank you so much, Springfield, and uh, let's have a uh, let's have a Merry Christmas. We've got we've yeah. right. Thank you so much.